Hello, I'm Nadia Granados from the University of Utah. The title of my research article is Mobilities of Language and Literacy Ideologies, Dual Language Graduates, Bilingualism and Biliteracy. This research examines graduates of Dalton, a K-5 dual language immersion program, whose early schooling experiences were intentionally structured to foster multiple and global perspectives in terms of bilingualism and biliteracy. These students have now grown into adulthood, and the extent to which their past experiences as dual language students has affected their current language and literacy ideologies and practices is examined. This article uses the framework of new literacy studies, which emphasizes the ways in which the wider political, social, ideological context should be a part of our understanding of literacy, including a language ideologies framework to capture conceptions of language ideologies as situated within an analysis of relationships of power and, and social position. Um, the study employs qualitative methodology. There are a total of 52 participants. All are graduates of Dalton who have now grown into adulthood and are between the ages of 22 and 28. There were three methods of data collection, which include the creation of a social media group. In this case, it was a Facebook group, um, two separate focus group discussions, and three one-on-one -on -one, one interviews with three focal participants. The data analysis included three rounds of coding um, and ultimately three feet. Themes were identified, two of which are addressed in this article, language and literacy ideologies across time and capital. The findings highlight how three conceptualizations in regard to Spanish emerged as graduates recounted their reflective perspectives about language. Spanish is special, Spanish is normalized, and Spanish is undesirable. These conceptions are compared to their current perspectives about language. Furthermore, findings underscore how Spanish becomes a force of social, cultural, literacy capital, as well as economic capital, as they have used their Spanish to their benefit across time and space. Spanish's capital contributes to the graduates' larger ideologies surrounding language and literacy in ways that further associate Spanish as a positive, valuable essence in their lives. Additionally, a large number of graduates demonstrated advocacy as well as high global and cultural awareness. This research underscores that ideologies of language are neither static nor fixed, but over time have been molded and reshaped in a very fluid, lively process. In this way, we can begin to understand the multiple and competing social, cultural, institutional, and political forces at play in complex processes that ultimately affect one's mobilities of language, literacy, and unity. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy the article.